yes yes Kenya tamu sana tamu sana yes tamu sana yesterday Uda party handed its nomination certificate to its candidate for the Kiamba parliamentary by election to be done on July 15th. During that meeting or that, that occasion, one Rigadi Gachagua, Madeira member of parliament, threw some indirect attacks to Moses Kuria. From what Rigadi Gachagua said yesterday, it, it appeared, if you look at it properly, that he was attacking one Moses Kuria. This is what Rigadi Gachagua said yesterday, at the, during that event, we are sending a clear message out there that everyone who wants to be part of us will fly the Uda party. Uda is the only party for hustlers. That comes on the backdrop of Moses Kuria's candidate, Koimburi winning a Georgia parliamentary seat which some of Aslas or other Uda supporters celebrated. Though I said that was Moses Kuria's win, not Uda's win. So yesterday Friday, Rigadi Gachagua came out and made that very clear that the only party for Aslas is Uda. Because as we head towards Kiamba parliamentary by election, Moses Kuria has already fielded a very strong candidate there. And then now Uda is also fielding a candidate there. So it simply means that Uda and Moses Kuria's party Peb are going to square it out there with Jubilee party. This just explains what I've been saying here, ladies and gentlemen, that Moses Kuria is using the Hustler movement, or rather is using William Ruto, to build his own political brand. And this is political brand is building it so that we, when we reach 2022, then Moses Kuria can choose to either work with the government side or to work with the hustler side, depending on which one will <laughs> will be calling the shots on the mountain. That's the clever move Moses Kuria is trying to achieve by fielding candidates through his own pep party. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to look at this thing more deeply than, ju than just that. Rigadi Gashagwa is Madeira member of parliament. And also, after the Juja win, when Koimburi paid Ruto a courtesy call, Moses Kuria, as the party leader, was missing in action. Moses Kuria never accompanied Koimburi to pay a courtesy call to one William Ruto. That was not coincidental. It was a well-calculated move by Moses Kuria to send a political message. Mm. And the political message most likely Moses Kuria wanted to send was that he, 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 as much as he is working with one William Ruto, he is his own man. Mm. He is his own man. That, I strongly believe that was the kind of message Moses Kuria wanted to pass to, by missing out on that courtesy call Koimburi paid to William Ruto. So go, going towards 2022, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto must put his house in order. He has to make it very, very clear <laughs> that either you join Uda or you are not part of his team. <laughs> he has to make that very, very clear <laughs> that it's either you are in Uda or not, you are not working with him. But as as things turn out, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto is equally a man under siege because some times back, William Ruto was meeting some Mount Kenya politicians allied to him. And these politicians actually gave William Ruto some condition. Mm. And they made it very clear through a press statement that they have given their demands to one William Ruto. And nothing stops them also for for talking to other presidential candidates or other aspirants in order to see where their interest will be accommodated best. But with this new development of Moses Kuria and also Mwangi Kiunjuri, Ruto might find the going in Mount Kenya very, very hard. Very, very hard. 
And I'm one person who has constantly maintained here, ladies and gentlemen, that the ground on the mountain is a little bit slippery. And I'm repeating as even though Ruto is celebrating the Juja parliamentary win and also Ru reward, I'm maintaining it here, ladies and gentlemen that if a presidential election was to be held today, and I want to be people to get me clearly, and I've been saying this and I'm repeating, if a presidential election was to be held today, Mount Kenya, to the last man, will vote to the person Uhuru Migai Kenyatta will direct them to vote, to, to vote for. To the last man. I'm saying that and I'm repeating. They will vote to the last man. Don't be deceived by what is happening currently. You know, there is a very big disconnect or there is a very big difference between a parliamentary by-election, a ward by-election, or even a gubernatorial by-election to that of a presidential election. And Kenyans have shown that they can elect a member of parliament in one party and then on top there... <laughs> They just do something quite different. A case in point was Mpuri Aburi. Actually, Mpuri Aburi won a seat in Meru with ODM. But when it came to the presidential votes, it was a different thing. In fact, they voted for Uhuru at, for the presidency almost 100%. But on the constituency level, they gave it to Mpuri Aburi. So that can also explain, ladies and gentlemen, what is currently happening in Mount Kenya? In Yuja, that had nothing to show with Uhuru's popularity. It was about the best candidate winning. And that candidate happened to be Mr. Koimburi. And that video, I think we did it some uh, about two days ago in this YouTube channel, where I made it very well, very well and very clear that Koimburi was already a brand in Yuja. Even if he was to contest on which party, he could have just emerged as the winner. I made that very very clear and very well, ladies and gentlemen. So for William Ruto supporters, I really don't hate William Ruto. The only thing I'm trying to open your eyes to know exactly how politics plays out in this country. There is a precedent that has been set in this country. There are some trends that our politics always take. Somebody contesting for the presidencies for the very first time, the very first time, president that has been set in this country has it that that person only manages <laughs> to win from his own ethnic background. That's the president that has been set in this country. Unless that person or that candidate is supported by the government. And when the, the only person who contested for the presidency for the first time and became an opposition leader since multi-party politics, I can say was maybe Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, despite the heavy support he received from the Kanu government, he managed a distant second. That's the only person I can count was lucky enough to be opposition leader. All this current crop of politicians we have now. Musalia Mudavadi has tried it. Mm. He, he could not even convince his own ethnic people in Vihiga to vote for him. Kalonzo tried it. Raila tried it. So I really consider that for William Ruto to try and become opposition leader in 2022 in 2022 he shall have made a very, very big difference. And he shall have done a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen. But for presidency, William Ruto winning for presidency in 2022, that's out, that's out, that's out, ladies and gentlemen. That's a dream, he can't win, he can't win. So William Ruto must package himself properly. Mm. Maybe for 2027, for 2022 is gone. Whether it will be Raila contesting or what, Ruto will not win the presidency in 2022 unless mm, unless he is supported strongly by the government or by the system and all the instruments of power. 
but contesting as an opposition candidate and winning the presidency, I think that's, that, that will be the biggest joke of the century. Otherwise, folks, let me leave it there for today. If you've bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell in order to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. In this YouTube channel, we do daily political analysis. We upload two videos per day. Make sure you watch our two videos per day, every day. And for those watching us outside of Kenya for the very first time, tap on the subscription button and also drop a comment so that we can know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And for anybody watching us, you are also free to drop a comment and let us know what you think about this video, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, God bless you. God bless Kenya. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.